So here are some of the basic tools you need for starting off blacksmithing. Um, some good size hammer here, maybe a little ball peen hammer for tiny stuff. Um, and you could even use a sledgehammer for a really big stuff. It's just starting out, you know, you just, just need a small hammer about that size. Um, and then a couple tongs, so, um, one for gra gra um, grabbing round stock. Um, you can pick these up um, at garage sales or you can make them in yourselves. These are all uh, handmade ones, uh, antique ones that I picked up. And this is for this is for making this tool is nice making for making nails for nails you'll need one of these this is where you poke the uh, the nail through um, and then you, this is where you, how you put the head on the nail and I will do a separate video on how to make a nail and then this is what you'll need that goes in the anvil to cut off metal and it heats up this is a handmade one it goes in the anvil like that in this slot and then you heat up that's for heat up the metal and put it on across this point right here and you whack it with a hammer and it cuts stuff off and then you'll need some kind of vise of course this is a historic historic vise that I attached to a, a log here I did it this way so I can when I'm done teaching people I can take it off the log and put it away kind of the same thing with this anvil I have a pin in the log below the anvil and this sits on the pin so it stays pretty pretty steady there so that's it that's some pretty basic tools you'll need for starting off blacksmithing and then of course the forge you make yourself and then the bellows and the bellows you can make with a I've seen them in Africa made from a rim of a rim and sprockets of a bicycle uh, a bicycle and they can mount that it's kind of like a fan system to make a blower or you can use hair dryers or whatever you want but this one uh, that I made is, is to be more historically correct so here's a closer look at the top of the forge um, so here's the the slot I have in the, the the middle of the cement of the top of the forge, and then down here I have this piece of pipe, galvanized pipe with holes uh, drilled into it, and then I insert that into let's see, insert that into the forge this way, and that goes up to the end, and then I have a plug that goes on the end of the pipe and so that goes right into the middle of the forge and then down here where these two bolts are is where I attach the uh, the bellows so that's it's pretty pretty basic it's my kind of my own design um, what I did to build the top of the uh, forge the cement top um, I just took a piece of plywood and some um, two by fours and made a frame and then filled it with cement and then I to give it a nice edge I put some some uh, molding in the inside when I poured the poured the cement in so when you take it out it's upside down it makes a nice uh, tabletop and what I like about the smooth the smooth top is you can slide the metal straight straight into the into the fire as opposed to um, if it was like a bowl shape or something it would, it would be a little harder so this this way I can get the metal right on top of the uh, of the holes here. So when you pump on the bellows and the air comes up through these little holes I drilled here.